Welcome back. Well, the woman's voice can now be heard weekly on Community Radio Hamilton. So what's the purpose of the show and how are they celebrating women? Co-hosts Silvana and Lily Rose join us now to tell us more. Welcome to the show, ladies. Hello. So, Silvana, where did the idea come from to, to launch the show? Well, actually, the idea was coming from Lily because once, like a couple of years ago, she told me that she would really like to have a radio show on Community Radio about women. And then I was talking with women from different sectors and I found that most of them having the same idea, but it's very hard to commit for a show weekly, you know, because you have to find content and be there every week for an hour, so it's a really big commitment. So I thought, like, oh, well, if we have a team, we could share the responsibility and we could combine with family, work, you know, and other hobbies. So that is how the idea came up and every woman that, or every woman, sorry, that I asked, oh, would you like to participate? They were like, oh, yeah, definitely. Sounds like a really good, really good idea. And at the end, we came up with this really good team with totally different backgrounds. And yeah, we are on board now. Fantastic. Lily Rose, what's the purpose of the show? So the purpose of the show is to get people together, women together, to talk about women's experiences and how we feel about uh, local and international issues and to help one another um, deal with some of those issues and to communicate with people on a wider stage. Awesome. That's been going since um, August, mm -hmm. since the end of August. What response have you had from listeners so far? Well, uh, we have been having really good uh, feedback, actually. Heaps of people wanting to participate, you know, showcase their organization if they work in that for women's stuff, you know. So we are actually been having a lot of like, oh, really good idea. We are, we, we are been waiting for a show like that to participate or to listen and to talk about our stuff. So yeah, what I receive at least is really positive feedback. Fantastic. Now we were talking to Lily Rose before about how Quite often women, very often women, are pretty hard. We're hard on ourselves. and um, But the show has, you know, you're really focusing on helping women with that tendency. Can you tell us how you're doing that? Yeah, definitely. Um, one of the things that I feel really strongly about is that there is a bit of a culture about saving face and putting your best foot forwards. And that's really great. But also I feel like we need to make safe spaces for women to talk about what goes on behind that facade and, and the need to talk about the things that we all share um, and the difficulties that we all come up against and celebrating the fact that even though we all daily have these little issues that need to be dealt with like maybe this morning Silvana trying to get here and get her children off to the crash as well um, I think that there can be real value in talking about how we deal with those emotions and how we find strength moving forwards. And of course you've already mentioned Savannah about the fact that there's a team involved so has it been hard to uh, get the whole team kind of with that mindset? To, to, to actually help women you know realize that they don't need to feel bad about themselves? So I'd say not at all. The, the team right from day one we were very strongly focused that the purpose of our show was to, to help and to celebrate and uh, we really believe in positivity is contagious and the best way to get your message out there and we're really lucky that we have a team that represents such a diverse um, range of women in New Zealand. We've got so many different ethnicities, different ages, working in different sectors so it's really a unique experience. Well I'd really like to ask you if you don't mind is what you, impact you think you're going to have with this show because it's such early days. Have you got any ideas on that? Well, yeah, my dream is to become this umbrella where, you know, different women's organization or individual can come under, you know, and promote their ideas, their business, their dreams, you know. So, so yeah, become this where women can encounter themselves, you know, and talk about their issues and their, their projects and, you know, kind of ask be the window so the rest of the world can see it as well. Now with the podcast, you know, on internet, we have a, such a much more broader audience than in the old days, you know, so that is a big as well opportunity for us. Absolutely. So you're expecting it to grow? Oh, yeah, definitely. I am like dreaming with like the next International Women's Day, uh, us leading that occasion, you know, and inviting heaps of women from around, probably you, you know, from the media and stuff like that, just to celebrate us, you know, starting from us. Awesome. The men are going to want their own show now <laughs> too, aren't they, of course? <laughs> Yeah. And because women in the end actually, I think we do manage to share better than men. They probably need one more than we do. Maybe we should encourage them. Lily Rose, <laughs> what do the weekly shows include? Um, we've got 
each show is focused around a central topic. We look at business, family, lifestyle and culture, and we look at health as well. Um, but we sort of tend to weave different topics in there. Um, so I think if you're listening to our last show that was based on family and changing family over time in New Zealand, but we also sort of looked at news from around the world and locally and uh, looked at some different ideas like women's values as well. Uh, so each week it has got a bit of a central theme, um, but lots of spice as well. Fantastic. So how can women tune in? Well, they can, if they live in the Waikato, uh, they can tune AM 1206. If they are in Hamilton, it's FM 106.7 and around the country or around the world, online on the website, dot that, 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 communityradio.co.nz. We have the live stream and on-demand options, so yeah, you can yes. miss it. Um, <laughs> well, all the best for the show, because I think, um, as you've said, it's, it's highly valuable and it's going to make a difference in people's lives. Often we just need each other, mm -hmm. don't we? Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having us. Well, that brings us to the end of the show today. If you've got any comments or feedback, you have a story itching to be told, do flick us an email, news at tvcentral.co.nz. You can also visit our website, tvcentral.co.nz, and don't forget that we have a Facebook page. I'm Janine Forlong. We'll catch you soon. This has been an Alpha Media production, a division of Television Media Group. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.